Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is going to be a little video, real quick video of kind of how quests work in the free-to-play game Fallout Shelter. It's available on PlayStation 4 as of recently. It's also been available on Xbox, PC, Android. I'm probably forgetting something, but anyway. So this is the quest. This is one of my earlier quests, and I'm way overpowered. But just to kind of, if you're wondering how the quests work in Fallout Shelter, and by the way, I recommend you download Fallout Shelter. It's free to play. It's a really fun game. So early on, I'm just clearing these rooms here. You can see I'm selecting uh, different rooms to clear. And I've got basically my three best warriors out on this quest. So I'm way overpowered. I have like bazookas. I got pets. Um, you know, normally when you're doing quests, they're not this easy. But I kind of took my time. I kind of leveled my dudes up before I started doing quests. Because that's just kind of how I like to play games. I like to get my currency going and my income coming first before I actually start to try to beat the game. Anyway, so we're just, as you can see, I'm clearing rooms. Um, let's see right here. You look at these, these in the room here, there's like these glittering things. Those are things that you can loot. So essentially, when you're playing a game, you can loot a closet, you can loot a, a backpack. I'm looting these things. I'm getting items. So once I return to my base... I'll have those items to equip. You know, if I got armor, I can equip it. If I can find a gun, I could equip it. Or if I find junk, I could use it to craft armor, craft weapons. So we're just systematically clearing rooms. Here we go, another combat. I'm obviously overpowered. It shouldn't be that easy. But um, like I said, you know, this is like a level six quest and I'm at like a level 20. So don't let the, the, the easy difficulty fool you. This is a really hard game. In terms of uh, if you're trying to maximize everything. So we're just going to keep clearing rooms. And you can tell each room I, I clear. I collect everything in there. Uh, you'll see little shiny things that you can collect. So we And we just go down the elevator. And we just go room by room. A little bit in this room here. Collecting bottle caps. Same thing. Very vac Vacant room getting some junk so that little thing I bought there I could use that to build a gun maybe and just just to note when you're normally playing this game and you're at an easy or at a harder difficulty when you're fighting these enemies you can actually target them you can um, you can actually try to fight them and use like your actual skill it's so easy for me right now that I can let my dudes just kind of fight them I don't have to really worry about a whole lot of manual control I just let them automatically do it so we're just clearing rooms we're about 70 percent through this mission here we're just clearing room by room going down the elevator clearing room clearing room going down the elevator so we got two levels left down the elevator we haven't really got a whole lot of good gear yet but so we get in this room we got some rad scorpions if I wanted to I can manually attack them but Again, it's it's almost too easy right now, and I it's probably not a good example of what this game is because normally it is harder. We're gonna fight them, blow them up. I might have missed something in this back room here. Make sure I loot it. So you're playing these missions, you're looting. So when you return base, when you return to your home base with your uh, with your characters, you've got loot, you've got guns, and then you can start equipping your people with guns and armor, and they can therefore defend your base better, and also it'll boost their stats for production. Here's the final boss right here. You guys, blah, 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 Paula Plumpkin, where did she go? I'm not leaving here alive, let's fight. I just kill her immediately because, again, I'm overpowered. That's getting old, but... Charlie Kelly, we got Jamie Lannister in there. Another thing I like about this game, you can name your characters once they're born. Final room, we just massacre these poor bastards. Collect their gear. And the quest is essentially over, so now my dudes can return home. It'll take them about, you know, however long it takes. So. That's the mission. That's the quest. That's how they work. If you got any questions, feel free to comment below. I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe, but only if you liked it and you want to subscribe.